morning everyone. <laughs> well, I've started the day by getting a massive kind of dump of water on my head as we're raising the main because there was low water in it and we didn't realize and we don't have the bimini on. So now I'm wet, Nick's a bit damp, the cockpit is wet. That's um, certainly cleared the cobwebs. Oh, I don't mind. Can I ask you for? Yes. All right, so I've got to go around the coast of Hebwadia, yeah? Yes, so you need to go around that peninsula. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Uh, I also want to see where the shoulders, see? Yeah, exactly. 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 I'm going to pass outside of that car, my boy. We've left Ildia, left it behind, and we are heading to a place called Pornic. That's the plan. And uh, it's only about 27 miles, so it's not going to be a huge day, just a nice day sail. We are sailing downwind today, which is always fun. Yeah, hopefully the sun will come out a little bit and we'll have a nice day. We might even be able to turn the engine off at some point, but the winds are very light, so we'll have to wait and see. Fingers crossed. I Many things that I'm looking forward to with our new catamaran is having like our lines and our seating area separate so we're not kind of mixing the two. That's one thing that I don't love about this cockpit is there's no like dedicated place for the lines, they're just like where you're sitting. That's why you need a little bit of sunshine. Yeah. Where it looks like it should be windier than it is. So we've only got six knots of wind, but it kind of feels like it should be windier. We've got the chop, got the cloud cover, but we don't have the wind. So, a bit annoying. What do you reckon? We're getting soft though, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. We also don't have the preventers rigged, so we can't even put the preventer on. Oh well. We've got another nine miles and then we change course anyway. And then hopefully we get a point of sale on the other side. We'll see. So is this more pleasant sail than last time? Yes. So it's a little bit of a bumpy ride. Nick's not feeling amazing. He's about to go over a big wave. Yeah, feeling much more better? Yeah, I feel fine. So, so what happened last time? Didn't have, a pro didn't have a proper breakfast. Didn't have a proper breakfast. Is that it? Uh, it was, the sea state was worse, but it's normally due to not having a full stomach. Mm. Um, you just you do not go out on coffee and yogurt. You do not have acidic food. You do not have coffee. So, you know, I broke my own rules, got seasick. When that sun comes out, I'll tell you what, it feels so good. I feel like I'm just slowly defrosting. 
How are you going there, February? Was that a thumbs up? It's trying to come out a little bit. It makes such a difference when the sun is shining. We've got just over three miles until our waypoint, at which point we'll turn and uh, the wind will be coming directly from behind us, so we'll have to deal with that. Are you defrosting too? Yes. I think we've only then got another 10 miles or something until we get to Pornick, so at least it's not a long day. There we go, lovely sleep. An afternoon nap. We're now on a beam reach with light winds and uh, the sun's come out so all in all and the swells die down as well so all in all this is much more comfortable i'm interrupting nick's nap time we've only got another six miles to go until we reach our final destination the main stopped uh banging around so we've got a little bit of peace and quiet Nick's asleep, that gives me some peace and quiet as well normally. This is snoring particularly loudly. And we'll be there in about an hour's time. The birds fly south as the light leaves your eyes. Hold on to your dream. Oh, I know you want to scream. Since the day you're born, you're just a flower on your own. Waiting. Pornick Marina, Pornick Marina, Yacht Ruby Rose, Ruby Rose, over. There's this running joke that whenever I call someone up on the radio, they never answer. And then Nick picks it up and he's like, so and so, this is your Ruby Rose, and they're like, Yes, hello, your Ruby Rose, how can we help? And I'm like, Do it? Yeah. They're just going out for a blast, I think. Yeah. So the marina aren't answering, so we'll just go in, and I think there's a reception pontoon, so we'll just tie up. <sighs> Nick's gone to check us in. What an absolute bummer. We uh, just caught the uh, corner of the pontoon. The tide was pushing us across and yeah, we weren't really aware of it until it was too late. Um, yeah, so we've got a little bit of a scrape in the hull. It's not gone through the gel coat, but it's still something that may have to be repaired when we get the boat back to Southerly in the UK. Nick may not be able to do it. Ah, it just annoys us so much when we make a mistake when we're tying up and I know everyone does and I know that sometimes you just you cannot help it and I don't think there was much that we could have done differently there um, without having had local knowledge which we didn't obviously have you can't have when you're coming to somewhere for the first time um, so I think we did everything right but we just got a bit unlucky and um, Obviously, in retrospect, we would have done that differently, but at the time, we didn't know. Oh, it's just so annoying. You finish a good sail, and you're all in a good mood. You're coming to a marina, and you're getting excited about exploring a new place, and then this really brings the mood down. <laughs> yeah. You happy? All right, so here we are in Pornick after quite a um, nice sail actually today. I feel like uh, it was going to be quite, I don't know, it felt when we left that it wasn't going to be particularly nice. It was grey and cold and 
a bit of a chop taking place. But, well, uh, it's not often that we get the wind abaft of the beam. <laughs> Ten knots apparent and like following seas. Exactly, but we did end up with that. We had that, uh, yeah, we did. Wow. Yeah, beautiful. Lovely chateau. That's nuts. I'd be nervous just motoring through there. I'd be nervous rowing through there. This is this is beautiful. Delightful and it's very Brittany as well. I'm surprised at how many people there are here. Well I didn't expect this to be like a a holiday place. A holiday place, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I didn't either, but you can see exactly why. I mean in all fairness, if you were to squint here, you could be in Dartmouth. I was about, just about to say it's very quintessentially French and you're just saying it's basically English. Well, no, no, I'm not, but the, you know, the, uh, the geology, you know, it's, it's, a, you know, it's obviously a, a, river, a river estuary port. Mm. It, it's beautiful, I love it. Yeah. Now we need to go and find a libation. Yeah, let's definitely do that. So I know that buying souvenirs is a little bit kind of old-fashioned these days, but I walk past one of those gift, like souvenir shops, a gift store places, and um, around here they're famous for their tin sardines. And last year I took like a pack of tin sardines home for my dad for Christmas, and he like almost fell over. He was so happy and excited. But the only thing that I think would make him more excited, which this is a very dad thing, <laughs> is soup. <laughs> Fish soup. I've got fish soup and I have longestine soup. And the thing is that you can find like uh, canned, no not canned, like jar, jars of soup everywhere here. And I've said I'm not bringing home a jar of soup because I don't want it like cracking, I don't want the glass cracking in my baggage. So I've been holding out trying to find tin soup. You think I can find tin soup? I finally found it. So there you go dad. That's your next Christmas present. Two cans of soup. I guarantee you, he will love it. <laughs> okay. Santé, merci beaucoup. Oh, that's nice. What a lovely spot for a beer. Now, obviously, you're not as excited as I am about the, can the canned soup. But I don't really like soup. Well, they're, they're That's a starting point. No. But I'm very pleased that you've got something for your dad. <laughs> and I know how much your dad likes fish in cans. So, how, how are you feeling about today? Did you have a nice day? Yeah. No, as, a, as I said, it's, it's nice to get a pleasant sail. You know, and as I said, it's. Uh, no, I just enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I thought it was a, it was a nice, nice trip out. You know, and it flew past as well. Yeah. And we, had, you know, we had got out for what five, six hours. And it, yeah, it just flew past. The boat settled down well. Um, yeah, it was, it was pleasant. today. Woo! Beautiful. This coastline is spectacular and some of the houses around here are insane. So we're coming to the end of our time in Pornic. So what would I say about Pornic? I think it's the first town that we've been to that is definitely in Brittany and that means a couple of things it means firstly it's a, def it's a defined region of France and they're particularly proud of their Britannic history secondly it means that uh, the alphabet changes there's K's the letter K is being used for lots of different things and they are famous for pastries and things like cider which are pretty typically northern European fare so we see a lot of things that we recognize in, in British cuisine 
and the geography's changed. We went from little flat islands, which is the Ile de Ure, which were like very sandy, um, lots of pine trees, kind of that real southern France feel, to this kind of rugged northern France. And it's, it's beautiful. It is absolutely delightful. When you get the weather, it is amazing here. The problem is that we're in Biscay and, you know, we have to sail between weather systems, which is what sailors do. But really enjoyed my time here. Beautiful place, would love to come back. But I say that about most French towns. And for our last day here, the sun's out. So, you know, we've dried the boat out. We'll be off again in the morning, off to um, three little islands where we're gonna anchor and chill and film and get the drone up and see some sunsets and a barbecue and do all those good things, hopefully. Fingers crossed, so we'll see you again for the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed that. There's a little button down there. If you want to subscribe, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and we will be back soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye. If you would like to support our video production, then please consider joining our wonderful Patreon community. Our patrons get loads of exclusive content as well as access to things like WhatsApp groups and Facebook groups. They also get reviews to news way before everyone else as well as any crewing and meetup opportunities. Just click the link in the description below.